Hi everyone, Austin with Sun Fun Kits. So today we'd like to discuss um, how to read the, or how to get a matching capacity, or close to matching capacity on your cells when you're doing your tests. So we want to begin by what the different, what watts and watt hours are. Um, I'm not going to spend too much detail, but the basic idea is watts is like a quick snapshot of the power that required. So if you need to start up a hairdryer for like a minute, you might need 1200 watts. Uh, if you need to run a microwave, you might need 1700 watts. But basically what it is, is the amount of power that you need for a small uh, period of time. Watt hours is basically the amount of power that you'll need over the course of an hour. And stuff like laptops, cars, uh, backup batteries, uh, they are all based on watt hours. So that's the uh, unit that we're going to be focusing on mostly on. How EVE calculates capacity. So EVE calculates capacity in watt hours. Uh, in this case, the LF304 is at 972 watt hours. But the thing to remember is they rate the static, uh, the stated capacity at a normalized 3.2 volt reading. So what that means is you take 972 watt hours divided by 3.2 volts or 3.2, and you get 303.75 amp hours which Eve rounds this up and displays at 304. To summarize, 972 watt hours, 303.75 amp hours, which is shown as 304, and 3.2 volts nominal. Those are the stock settings. So let's perform a capacity test using the ZKE EBC A40. Um, we've already go mentioned the settings that we normally change in a previous video, but it's going to be, we, we replaced the alligator case for 6 millimeter lugs, uh, it's going to be uh, constant current discharge at 30 amps, and the starting voltage of the cell is 3.65 volts. Room temperature is around 76 degrees Fahrenheit, you know. And the label of this cell says that it has a 323.3994 amp hour capacity. All right, so let's do the test. So we've completed the test, and here's the data that we have. According to the EB tester, we had 317.70 amp hours of capacity, 1031.76 watt hours or energy, and the average voltage or nominal voltage was 3.25. Hmm, that seems a little low. Examining the results, again, amps times nominal volts equals, I mean, amp hours times nominal voltage equals watt hours. Aha! The label is lying. It's supposed to be 323.39. You're liars, liars, pants on fire. Hmm. Hold on there, Tex. Our label said 323.39. And we told you in the beginning it was normalized 3.2 volts. But the test results, they were at a nominal voltage of 3.25. So if we want to match the label, we need to take the no readings that we have and normalize them to 3.2 volts as well. How do you do this? Again, watt hours is equal to amp hours multiplied by nominal voltage. Let's do some basic math. So we have 1031.76 equal amp hours times 3.2, which means if we divide 101.76 by 3.2, it will give us 322.425 amp hours. Wow, that's a lot closer to the stated label. In fact, it's 99.7% listed cell capacity. Hmm. Now, I will tell you this doesn't normally happen. Usually we see between 98 and like 97% match, but this cell happened to be particularly spicy, so it, it got a very high cell capacity match. And if we were doing like a 0.2C discharge, that would not be as hard. So having a 0.1c discharge does kind of help a little bit. I don't believe you. I think you guys are doing some number tricks. I understand. Many people are new to this because on YouTube videos and message boards, usually you only get one rating, amp hour rating, not the voltage. So people just throw a volt amp hour rating and everyone assumes it's at 3.2. So let's look what the EBC tester said. 317 times 3.25, and he gave us 1,031.76 watt-hours. We then ask you to normalize it, 
And when we normalize it, our amp hours went up 322.425, but our voltage went down. And we got 1,031.761 uh, hours. Do you notice something? It doesn't matter if it's 3.25 or 3.2, the total energy is the same. Well, if the energy is the same, why are you so obsessed with 3.2? Why can't you just be happy with 337.7 and shut up already? This is pretty easy. The reason we have to normalize our readings at 3.2 volts is that so if we're going to go around saying, hey, my LFE battery cell, I got 300 amp hours from it. The assumption is that they got 300 amp hours at 3.2 volts. But that's not always the case. You may have a cell that was 3.15 or maybe you got the reading at 3.2 volts we don't know so that's why you should normalize it at 3.2 which is a universal standard so is that really that big of a deal if I don't normalize ah uh, for generally everyday news probably not you can say hey I, I got 300 amp hours and and whatnot but if you're going to be using it for testing it's important Again, with the 3.2, why are you guys so upset with 3.2 volts? Why can't it just be 3.5 or 3.1? This, I don't, What's the deal here? This is what the industry standards have decided it will be. It doesn't mean you have to follow it. If you want to give the amp hour rating with your own voltage rating, you're free to do so. But many people may not understand. So if you wanted to say, hey, this cell tested to 317.7 amp hours at 3.25 volts, well, you're correct. That's exactly what the test tested to. Or you can just simply say, hey, it's at 322.5 amp hours. And we'll generally zoom that's at 3.2 volts nominal. Both of the readings are 1,031 watt hours. It's just that one is the industry standard 3.2. So if you just want to give one value, the amp hours, normalize that reading to 3.2 volts. So to summarize, if you want to match or get close to the capacity list of the label, you'll need to normalize your amp hour ratings from your capacity test at 3.2. You can look at the watt hour tested then divide by 3.2. That's going to give you your normalized watt hour rating at amp hour rating at 3.2. And once you have your normalized 3.2 volt amp hour rating, you'll generally be, will be within one to three percent of the listed capacity on the cell, depending on the temperature, age of cell. Other facts that can vary. However, the minimum you will get will be at least listed watt hour rating of the cell. For LF280K cells, your minimum tested watt hour rating will be above 896. For LF304 cells, your minimum tested watt hour rating will be above 972. Now, based on our test, we have seen the LF280K tends to settle to its rated capacity faster than the LF304 or the previous generation LF-280Ns, or the LF-280. Eve says this is by design, because it's endurance battery designed for higher life cycle. Anyway, I hope this makes it a little easier for you to understand. If you are doing a capacity test and you want to get close to the label, make sure you name normalize your amp hour rating that you have to 3.2 volts. Anyway, that'll be, that'll be it for me. This is Austin again from Sun Fun Kits. If you need any questions or have any questions, contact us. We're more than happy to help. Take care.